Hi, my name is Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp Pro partner. Today I'm going to show something that some may consider slightly more advanced in MailChimp. What I'm going to do is show how we set up a survey and then set up a follow-up email to target people that answer specific responses in the survey. So for example, if we're asking for their favorite ice cream flavor, we want to send a specific email to all people that answer that they like coffee ice cream, for example. Let's go across to MailChimp. You'll see I'm in MailChimp. I'm in my audience. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first set up some tags. So what we're going to do is we set up tags. We then set up the survey. We ask the questions in our survey and we tag people based on the responses that they give us in the survey. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go across to customer journeys and create a customer journey so that when a person is tagged something, they'll be sent an email. So let's set up a few tags. Let's say we're asking people if they like coffee ice cream or chocolate ice cream. So let's set up two tags. We'll just go to create a tag and let me call this one choc for example and we'll create another one called coffee and you can call them anything you want to your tags anything you want to. So I'll click create uh, sorry create tag and let's just type in here coffee for example. So I've created my two tags. Now I'll go and create my survey. To, so to create a MailChimp survey, I merely click on surveys under audience. We'll create a new survey. We'll wait for this to load up. Let's create an introduction, for example. So I'll just click the plus button, click introduction, and we'll just add a little bit of text. And we could say anything here, please. Let us know your fave. I'll use American, uh, sorry, I'll use American spelling. Okay, you, you would obviously do a little bit more. Now, it's important that we ask people, I click the plus button, it's, it's very important that we ask them for their email address because we can't email them unless they subscribed in our audience. So I could just put here your email for example so they'll know what to put in that field this is important I'm going to make this required and that's up to you whether you do or don't but again we can't send emails to people if they don't enter their email address the other thing is we must click ask to subscribe if we don't ask them to subscribe or if they do not check the subscribe me button and you can change the text here if you really want to if they don't check that the person, you will not be able to send them email marketing. So they must enter their email and they must check that. So we'll ask them to subscribe. And let's just ask one more question. Uh, for example, um, let's, let's use radio buttons. What do we want to ask? Uh, which do, do you prefer? Sorry, my typing's terrible today. Which do you prefer? And let's just say here, um, choc ice cream. You would obviously spend a little bit more time than I am. And we can add various different options here. Let's just add another one called coffee. And you can, as I mentioned, you can add more. Uh, you can make this required. You can add an other option if you'd like to. I will click here, auto tagging. Now this is really important because remember we created those two tags earlier, one called choc, I think it was, and one called coffee. Clicking this auto tagging, we can then automatically tag people as they select various options, choc ice cream or coffee. So I'll click manage tagging. So as it says here, if the answer is choc ice cream, then the, apply the following tags. In this case, I'll apply choc, but it, it could be whatever you, you select. If the answer is coffee, then apply the following. And in this case, I'll do coffee. I'll click save. So now when people click choc ice cream, they'll be tagged as choc. When they uh, uh, click uh, coffee, select coffee, they'll be tagged as coffee. Let's say this is our entire survey. We'll click continue to design. And of course you would make it look a little bit more pretty. You would go into branding, custom messages, styles, but this is just an example. So I, I won't for now. Uh, we'll click review. We would name it something. Uh, let's just call this fave. 
cafe flavor for example you can call it whatever you want that's the audience people will be added to let's click continue sorry click continue and where are we where are we okay there we go it's just a little bit slow so we've now created our survey and the survey is live so we can click view preview page just to see the survey is actually there okay it doesn't look great but again you'd make it look a little bit more pretty but here you can see people can uh, enter the email address and they can select their favorite flavor so it is live so you could now distribute that url and uh, get people to start uh, filling in your survey and of course surveys are great for getting new subscribers learning more about existing subscribers even so we created the tags we created the survey we know when people select certain options on the survey that they will be then uh, tagged based on the option they select so now let's create a customer journey and what we'll do is say if they click that their favorite flavor is chocolate we'll send them that specific email if they click coffee we'll send them that email so that's done in customer journeys so I'll go automations customer journeys we'll create a journey and we'll just wait for this to load up we can call this anything we want I'll just call this coffee for any, you know coffee ice cream whatever select the audience it must be the same audience that we selected with our survey because people are being added from our survey into in this case organicweb.com.au it must be the same in our customer journey we click start building we choose a starting point and our starting point in this case is a tag because remember people are tagged chocolate or coffee or whatever so let's do chalk first so we'll tag them actually let's do coffee first uh, for no specific reason but it's morning here in Australia so we'll do coffee we'll click save starting point so when a tag is added with coffee we'll click add a journey point and click send email Ooh, sorry that's not showing for you uh, let me just move myself around on the screen here so you can see um, so what I'll do here so I click the, the plus and then I'm just going to click send email I would create my email change the subject line this is just demonstration but you would change your subject line uh, and what I'll do in this case I'll just select a template but we're just going to create the email that we're going to send when a person selects coffee because they'll be tagged coffee I'll just go to save templates and I happen to have a template uh, I'm doing this fairly quickly so it's not having time to load but hopefully this loads in a second there we go I preset this up earlier just to speed things up so there we go so hey F name first name um, that's a merge tag we also love coffee ice cream so you see now that ooh, I better just change sorry this eye to a smaller eye so we can see now that this is specifically targeted at people who selected they like coffee ice cream the more we personalize our email marketing or uh, the, the better results we get and in this case we know they like coffee ice cream because they selected that in the survey so we send them something really targeted and we say something like here come into the store and get you know a free scoop of ice cream uh, because you love coffee ice cream so much that might be the first email we send and just to let you know just going sideways a little bit here to another advanced topic so this is just a, a merge tag to insert the first name for each person I've just remembered now that I didn't ask people for their first name on the survey so I would need to go back and just alter that so we do ask for the uh, first name but what I've done here by adding title and uppercase and colon that will make sure that even if the person has entered their name with a lowercase first name into MailChimp it will uh, come as title case in other words capital first letter okay I would then preview etc etc but let's just assume that it's correct I'll click save and return to journey wait for this to load up and we'll just go through what's going on here so when they tag coffee they send that email we'll click continue we'll turn this on in other words make it live so that it's running continue so as people now enter that they like coffee in that survey right away or within 15 minutes roughly they'll be sent an email saying hey we have a coffee you know a coffee ice cream flavor use your voucher 
But what we want to do now is we will replicate that campaign and do the same thing for chocolate because the other option was people could select chocolate ice cream. So let's do the same for that. So we'll just replicate this journey and let me just call this one chalk for now. The audience is the same. We'll click continue. So replicating is a great way of just copying it exactly and we can just change those bits that we need to. So when a tag is added to the audience with the coffee tag, no, we want the chalk tag. So I've clicked on that and I'll just change this to in this case, chalk, the chalk tag. So when people are added with the chalk tag, and let me just edit the email. So I'll click gets email. You would again, you would edit the subject line. I'm just going to leave it for now. Uh, there's a little edit here. You, you might not be able to see it, but um, I've clicked the edit and let's just wait for this to load up. There we go. Now, we would change the text, for example, or we could even change the image. We could change this, but let's just change a little bit of the text just to make it look more personalized. We love chocolate. We love chocolate ice cream. There we go. Thanks for letting us know um, and get winning rich. And let's just change this to chocolate, for example. And maybe that's all we want to do because now it's personalized for the people that like chocolate ice cream save and close we would preview and test but let's just save and return to journey so we we set up a customer journey for those people that are tagged coffee we've done the same for chocolate now so we'll click continue and just make this live so it's running turn on and that's all we need to do so just to summarize what we did is we went into audience, we set up some tags, we went into surveys, we set up a survey asking for preferences of people, we asked them for the email address, uh, asked them to subscribe so that we can actually send them email marketing. I forgot to add a first name field, but please ask people for their first name. Then what we did is we went into automation and created a customer journey for each of the options available. So if a person is tagged coffee, send them this email. If they tagged us chocolate, send them that. So this is really getting into that, that deep personalization that we can in MailChimp. Slightly more advanced feature, but please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. My name is Gary from organicweb.com.au.